I don't know how much value I have in this universe, but I do know that I made a few people happier than they would have been without me. As long as I know that, I'm as rich as I ever need to be. Hey kid, what time is that? It's time to be fresh. Back once again with another podcast. This is episode 94 of the It's Time to Refresh podcast. And this is the most we've ever had on a podcast. <laughs> it is gonna be a bit uh, <laughs> a bit of a, a bit of a squeeze when it comes to getting words in. So um, we've got a few talkers in the room, we've got a few who's not gonna be talking that much. <laughs> um, so I'll be honest with you, this is the first day that I've met the, these lot, uh, the corruption bounce boys, pretty good setup we've got here. Um, we'll get into what they're about and what what not. I'm gonna go around the table and you just can introduce yourself like it's our first day at work. <laughs> I'm Ryan. Cameron. Tom Jones. And Tucker. Here we go. And together, the corruption bounce. Uh, they the started off a night. Was it about two years ago? I would say. Just over, yeah. yeah. Just over two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. So about Back. two years ago, um, sort of came from nowhere because well, the first time I seen seniors. He stood it. Was it like? Did you do like a warehouse or something like that? No, no, that, 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 that was only a year ago. Uh, Castle Pub, yeah. uh, just over two years ago, we had a mate. Right. To be fair, straight out of COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking all three at first, and I think we were fucking out. What did we do? About over hundred, wasn't it? Just yeah. off, like straight out of COVID, just put a first status right. We're getting yeah. decks out because mm-hmm. Ryan's had decks for fucking years, and uh, I don't actually have any, but. Yeah, he was like, let's fucking set him up. Cameron's been doing his little TikTok thing or oh, Instagram through Instagram, COVID, yeah. 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 Through COVID and just posting tunes every day. And weird enough, it just fucking, it, it, it did click for you, didn't it? And then we were just like, fuck it, let's get that. So have a night yeah. out, yeah. like a bit of a blowout. And then we couldn't fucking believe it. Good like, no. just excellent, come excellent. Out of nowhere. So, right, I'm going to go around the table and ask you a couple of questions. As I said, it's the first time I've had this many people on the pod. So we're going to have to, we'll start with you. Where, where, where did you start at when it comes to DJing? Where, where does it Fucking begin hell. for you? It's the same for us all. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, us yeah. us three, yeah. Us we've, three we've, started, so we've, think, uh, we've, yeah, grown up together since we were fucking, how like, old, like 40, 40, well, you two, them yeah. two are cousins, yeah. if you don't know. Uh, and yeah, it's just been one of them, local youth club, um, yeah. DJing from 12 year old, something like, well, right, your dad yeah, and yeah. Cameron's Did dad. Jamie and, uh, mm. And um, then, yeah, Feral. Yeah. They come did, to youth, didn't they? Yeah. And we did uh, learning. Well, we used to just yeah, smash yeah. decks every night, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's this um, the youth club like? Was it? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Did, did like, they um, like have decks and that? Or, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It should be very young people, like, centre at first, and but it was weird because at first it weren't all that, were it? And then next minute they got this funding that I swear to God, fucking 12 right. tens when they were about a thousand vinyl, but they literally went into town, went to. Who used to have that thing in town? That was yeah, in Ager. Ager, yeah, but they were Nelson Santos as well, weren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Then they just went in the youth club and Bolton Council and just fucking bought a, a shitload of uh, yeah. vinyl. I wish my vinyl. youth club was as good as that. I mean, <laughs> but the, the funding came out of nowhere and we were like, what the fuck? That's yeah. where all my vinyls are from. That bad fucking voucher. You went missing. <laughs> I think the best way you got was like an untuned guitar, electric guitar. Oh, oh, yeah. It's got an amp to come with it, do you know <laughs> what I mean? No. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking shit. So, yeah, um, so you all started off together. What sort of year was this then? That was two, it was, must have been 2014, something like that. Yeah. It was 2016, we were DJing in Pepper Belly. Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. Is this, yeah, the, is this the sort of like uh, the bouncy stuff? Or what, what yeah, the bouncy yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, fucking starting out, I said, buying buy vinyl, you used to go in every weekend, you, yeah. you smash work, like, you were, you left school, like, fucking 14 year old, making 100 quid a day. So. <laughs> That's how me and him met, eh? <laughs> yeah. School, yeah, yeah, that was it. Kids at school and uh, just going in, buying vinyls every weekend. You just got paid buying and buying. Yeah. The ones that so. the youth club didn't have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, fucking. Just, so one of them, you just buy one or two and then during the week, every night at like six o'clock at youth club and you, you could fit, it was smaller than Ian, you could fit fucking, <laughs> we had like 30 people in it and they were just deafening. There were guy Chris. Come to events now. <laughs> yeah, 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 the folders through and guy Chris Massey, I don't know who fucking caught it was. Yeah. So you sit in corner, but he was producing music, he was trying to push us down that route and yeah. we were just like, nah, we've, just, we've got new vinyls this week, we're just going to smash these and he was like, in corner. Loads of people sat around them on worktops and everything like. <laughs> we did a few recordings, didn't we as well? Yeah, yeah. Can't Are they there. available online at all? They're all like, no, no, no. no. Yeah. So what? Ultimate, ultimate bounce. Were the ones who? Yeah, they they, they, they do well. 
they did all right all from that, Mikey Young and Harmony and Castle Hill they used to have meet ups mm. yeah. where Blackout mm. and that did it and Turn it with some DJs and yeah. then go against them and all with MCs as well. Oh, excellent. They were good. Yeah. Different areas. Not for like this in my area, I'll tell you now. <laughs> what about yourself? Where did the DJ start for me, you? For me, um, pretty much similar to these. I I were a knobhead when I was a kid. I got kicked <laughs> out of school. What did you when you were a kid? Yeah. <laughs> I ended up uh, on something called Farm of Inclusion team. Mm. They had Dexter. And then I had... I had a mate called Ryder who passed away, Ryan Davis. Fucking unbelievable DJ. Unbelievable. Um, and it all started where me and him wanted to get some decks we live straight facing each other and he's like right, we'll, we'll buy them but we'll put them at mine and I'm like no we'll buy them we'll put them at mine anyway he went his separate way he got his decks I got my decks and then I got kicked out got kicked out of school moved into my auntie's house had a free house and then every weekend it was Fair party guys. party <laughs> party that's all we did was just party smash house up party <laughs> it was just a free house no rent no, no nothing uh, put like next in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much were. And then, yeah, that's how it started for me. Um, yeah, I loved it just ever since. Excellent, excellent. So, how obviously, you three knew each other beforehand. Yeah. And then, how did this come about then, what you what you were doing? So, you said about coming out of COVID, you, yeah, yeah, did, did not put this night on. <laughs> yeah, one night at Castle, uh, wasn't it? Did, that, no, we did two at Castle. Castle. Yeah, 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 well, then we yeah. went to any, and then we went, no. Did we go to pineapple? It was pineapple. Ennigans, Ennigans, yeah. Ennigans, yeah. Ennigans, yeah. Pineapple. But it was thinking. Yeah. It, 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 no, Ennigans, I think. It, yeah, yeah, I never. Can't remember. Pineapple. Ennigans. Yeah, it, it, it was just one next. of them though. Like we'd done one night and like no shits, no bragging. I fuck. All right, go. We broke every limit on the bar every night we've done. Mm. So then they were like, "Fuck me, can we have you back next?" We month? had like three pubs yeah. fighting for us. Three pubs like rolling so on. Yeah. These two, these three did the castle twice. Yeah, yeah. And, and then obviously I knew Ryan anyway. Hmm. Uh, speaker around, and he's like, oh, "Fucking good castle." I never turned up. He's like, "All oh, right, come Ennigans, I'll put you on." So, I, and then I went Ennigans, went on the me and another guy called Matty Allen did a back to back with him, and then we were fucking from, even from that, that from that night. Yeah. You did, we did Sky Bar, was it? Yeah, Bury. Yeah, so yeah, Sky Bar in Bury. Then yeah. back to the pubs, and then. Got a good friend called Nathan Jones who owned Underground Watch, got a look at yeah. Jones. Um, he's like, he was dead against having bounce in there, just dead <laughs> on that atmosphere. And he's like, right, come on, come to the club. And I put it off for a long time. I had a chat with these and said, look, do you want to do it? Let's do it together. And that's kind of how us become one. Yeah. It was mainly the Underground thing that set it off. Uh, we did Underground and yeah, we absolutely. Yeah, we well, well, they said. Well, well yeah, with with underground, they said it was like what are you, one eight to count. One, one, Max, one fifty, but we did two two, 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 two five or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who you're up fucking door yeah, that sure. night, but they were just like, they <laughs> doors, didn't they? it were yeah. and not let people in. Excellent. It's quite a hard venue to, to like get busy as well, like yeah. of its location. I think because was here and. Think about it, right? We're all joined together. In a way, we've got the same group of friends, but Tom, uh, it's, it's an extra, and you bring I'm everyone to, yeah, yeah, you yeah. bring everyone together. It's, yeah. it, it is, it's meant what's happened. <coughs> Am I yeah, think, right, in thinking it, that used to be, is it retro? Was that yeah, retro? Yeah, 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 retro, yeah. Right, yeah, so yeah, it is quite a fucking like, uh, um, it was shuffled, it was shuffers so, yeah. as well, yeah, yeah. So, it, to be honest, Underground had the name because it was shuffers and things like that. Yeah. that that's where bounce was in Falmouth it was massive for it obviously things change over time Nathan wanted it more more like not pop I'd say more house R&B yeah. hmm. different different calibre of people coming in there yeah and Just then you put bounce back in the art of what used to be the art of the community club do you know what I mean like hmm. It works, doesn't it? It, it, ju it? I say it just grips and then even look now it's open every weekend, isn't it? But yeah. yeah. That's it's it, when, they, when you open every weekend, you're going to struggle to fill it. Oh, no, no, it's absolutely. Hard, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, it? that, that's, that's why it kind of went from us doing pubs, like as in, like pubs wanted us uh, once a month, but when we've got two or three pubs who want once a month, we were out nearly every weekend and we just said, it ain't feasible for our lives, we've all got mm -hmm. families, we all work. Yeah. It's just not yeah. ideal, is it, at all? This is why people don't see too much of us. Of us as well because we don't want to we don't want to spoil what we've got going do you know what i mean we've got something good if you, if you do every weekend there's no like 
buzz for it, is there? Yeah. No, it was no special attraction, is no, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we do, if we do every few months, it's like fucking. I went to the last cut and bounce and fucking banging. Mm. And then you wait in months and months, and then that fly goes back out, and then it, people grab to it. Do you know what I mean? And mm. that's where it, we we've kind of become good at it. I think like by understanding that you can't be every single yeah. weekend for oh, yeah, yeah. even once a month a big asking it's a bit it's a bit much isn't it like we're we've just proper chilled out like i say we don't we don't rely on this for, for an income we, we just love it mm. for the music and i know we're all on the same level that's why it works since when did, would you ever put four people in business and say it's fucking works you know what i mean it, it just, yeah yeah I, I get that other than me and cameron are fucking good at it all the time come on well, let's go back about three days shall we <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's not to be fair. It's not sometimes. Obviously, it's divided opinions in it, but we do have our arguments. We have our, we have our arguments. Don't get me wrong. Everyone has a different view sometimes, but when it comes to the actual night, it fucking works. In which, mm. well, like you said about the factory mm. that we did, that's probably when we did it. Was, that's when for us it changed completely for us. We did a thing, we oh, tried to do it. What were it before that? No, we tried to do Garden of Corruption. We sold yeah. it out pretty much. I think it was 500 yeah. tickets. Mm. It was sold well, 480, were it? Well, yeah, 499 under, under with yeah. all the staff, obviously, with tens and rules and stuff. It's um, we, we had pretty much a sellout. It was at Fred Dibner's old house, the back garden. Council, we went to him for a 10 license. We tried doing everything legit. And it just... Yeah, well, did, yeah. So we, we was like ready, rock and roll, literally everything in place. The doll deposit down, down. fucking troll and that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking yeah, spades, get out. like it's yeah. it's mad for to say. Oh, we just it's it's a sick place, and maybe if we can find pictures, if you want to put one up this mm. way, you'll see it. It's special, like you're all right just to send me them afterwards. And I'll yeah, put yeah of course, on. mate. Yeah, uh, so. It's like Bike River down in this mini little forest and he's built like a log cabin and it's used now for rentals because he, he wanted to go down the, down the route of being legit and mm. having like a stay cabin type of thing where you chill at weekends, hot tubs and all that shit. Meanwhile, let's fucking get some decks on that balcony and let's go for it. Mm -hmm. And one, one thought yeah. led to another and the next week we were like down there with spades like I was like digging it all out with all the... And yeah, it was just police council, everything come down. Yeah, but walked away and seemed went, happy. Yeah, walked away and went, Yeah, we don't see why not. If yeah. you can do X, Y, and Z, yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. And then it was three days before they said they didn't receive it's any called, of our emails. Called, called, called like an urgent meeting. Like, yeah, okay. an urgent meeting. And obviously, we put grand into it. Like, we say weekenders with the food fest. Well, cream, cream yeah, fields. It was yeah, yeah, like with the, it with the Bolton food, food fest. Oh, they're right. saying we can't wait for oh. you to have this because it'll bring so more I people. I feel like that went against as well. Yeah. With, you know, like, with like policing and stuff and like that and trafficking. Yeah. That job, all, all, all they said it was like some stirs, but I swear, what did he spend on stirs? <laughs> Like he, he built the stairs down to the down to the venue, like shit. You know, it's probably about two hundred steps. Yeah. It's like yeah. two houses, fucking high, like but down. But they did a mean job. They spent a, like a grand or two on steps alone. Not more than that. Were it? He said about eight, eight grand. grand. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. no, yeah, but that was with the hut and that, wasn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Stairs was about oh, eight I grand for him. What a word though. Fucking hell, what that labour bill was on that. <laughs> but yeah, we 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 tried that so. So for us, like every event that we do, we save the money in a pot and we put it into the next yeah. next event. And this yeah, is what we did. So we built we built up, built up, built up, and I think we had a couple of grand there. Um, and then we put the garden, we put the garden of corruption on, and everything we had saved, everything we put into it, just went bye bye. Luckily, we did underground. We still did the nighttime event, pulled a bit of money back. No, that's uh, what we did. What, well, yeah, yeah, George, George well, did it for us, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Pulled, pulled it pretty much what we lost. Um, and then we did Underground, and then after that, we did the factory. So, how did that come about then? Because this, yeah. was, this wasn't a, like a venue, it was, was it? it was a venue to be anyway, yeah. it was a venue to be opened. Uh, two lads, Adam and Louis, put a shitload of money in. It was. Yeah. Fu I remember first going looking at it. I actually crashed my car when I went looking at it. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Someone went straight into the side of me. Yeah. Um, went there, it was full of pigeon shit. Everything, all roof was smashed. And they're like, yeah, we're going to have this done in a few few months. Like, <laughs> when you come back, everything will be in. Bar will be in. Stage will be in. This will be in. And I'm like, it's not no. fucking happening. No, like, it's not happening. Do you know what I mean? But to be fair to the lads, they fucking grafted their arse off. 
the venue was unreal for the bounce scene. It was the most perfect venue that we, you could ask for. It looked great to be fair. Yeah, we, we, we did the full. We got the full production. Obviously, it was just an empty shell for us. Mm. Uh, we got the full production in by uh, Dave Byrne, BB Audio. Mm. Can't thank him enough. Smashed it. Um, I've stepped was carrying it up and down stairs. <laughs> <laughs> that was all upstairs right. again. Nick, and then the council, know. after that event, the council um, come and said there needed to be another fire safety stairs in there. Like an evac route. Yeah, and it was quoted like at 200 grand. So Fucking. They just said. They just. Another one yeah. again, innit? Wet council. You got one it? Oh. Yeah, exactly. Bolton, yeah. Bolton Council in Bolton Clubs. That's. I understand it somewhere, but they really don't want boats. Hmm. So a boat and to try and get boats in Bolton has been hard enough. It's been I mean? massive, but as soon as they start, but, 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 but that was like the likes of like say Pep Rally, yeah, the, the Cameron's dad, his uncle Jonathan, and uh, Uncle Max Story. They had Pep Rally, yeah. and a bit of an incident happened. Obviously, God rest the river was there, and something happened. But we were DJing, we're only kids, like. We this happened with youth DJ every Saturday with residents at 16 year old, us three and Grant we used to call ourselves Phase Four. Fucking and it was it was one of them. As soon as that happened, the full thing just went downhill like the scene as such and, and thing and then next minute, what were it, what were it called? Icon. And that yeah, packed up, didn't it, Jax? Yeah. Icon yeah. and Jax and it Everything just, just packed away, didn't it? Just didn't want to fluid. Yeah. Went. Fluid. fluid. Apple, Apple tree. tree. Went. Yeah, there was just. There used to be a good place, Bolton. It used the yeah. nightlife. I used to work in Bolton as well, like when I was younger. The nightlife in Bolton was ace. It was a good place to go. So it's a shame now that it's not what it was because now you're going. It's dead. Like mm. the likes of obviously you've got Element now, but that's the only venue in Bolton apart from Underground in Falmouth. That is the only venue in Bolton now where you can do anything. Yeah. Um. I I remember I. Obviously, from up my way, I, I was always under the impression of, oh, like, Bounce is pretty big, or was pretty big in Bolton. So, I got a booking for Bolton at, um, oh my god, um, I can't remember where it was now. So, do you know where Element is? It was yeah. in, like, you got, it's like in that square, it's the back of the square. Yeah, it was good. It would have been at it. J2. Yeah, it was in J2. 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 been in at it, wasn't it? Right. You had J2, and then a part of J2, you had yeah. the room called yeah. the attic. Um, and they've played like club and stuff like club that. Land, house classics but like club classics do, uh, sorry bounce candy, bit bouncy like not too much bounce, but yeah that's where it'll have been it'd been attic uh, well I, I got booked to play there and uh, I like I turned up and I was thinking, oh, this will be fucking good. This turned up and there was about ten people in. But bear in mind, the fucking the lineup was stacked as well. Exactly. Yeah. And it's See, just had sell it always. Isn't it? What was that? What year? Two thousand and I'm gonna say. 14, 2015 ish. Yeah, that's yeah. when it, it went downhill. Yeah. It, it vanished, didn't it? Yeah, it, 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 it literally went over a period of a couple of months and that's as soon as all them closed down, yeah. no one were doing it and then it's just come back. Yeah, yeah. Well, as I say, I came to that event that you did in um, Element. Which, um, yeah, that was, was with Surprise. So, yeah. so was that one over it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it was a DB one, wasn't it? So yeah, he had the DB in room two. I like that I like that you did that, by the way, the, the DB room. To be fair, all credit, yeah. it was yeah. Scott Scott Hill's Scott Hill's idea, that. Yeah. Well, I like the I like the, the idea that it's not just another bounce room where yeah. it's like fingers. Well, well, like, well, to be fair, every all bouncers were walking in, obviously, we were, we were in all way with Scott and Matt. Mm. And uh, all ravers walking in, like, what, what, what that's the fuck's what all did. this? Where's the fucking bass room? We did that, though, didn't yeah. we? Uh, underground, we started off with old school. Yeah. We yeah, we tried old school for a simple Simph- hours. Simp Nation, yeah. uh, yeah. these, cru- well, we just put Simp Nation, these coaches, so people seeing the old school side of it. Mm. Started with old school. Like two hours, wasn't it? Yeah, to be honest. It did alright. It, it worked at first, but then people like and fucking bounce yeah, 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 yeah. going on. I think I think that's it. We're seeing and in Bolton people starting afternoon, don't they? So they don't want to hear some stuff at no. seven o'clock. I think that's but it worked. Also, like it, it, you said, the D the D and B, D and B knows the biggest thing out there. Like, it's it's for I, the kids. The kids love it. Like and yeah. I, I genuinely, I genuinely listen to a lot of. They were making their music now to bounce. Like yeah. remix, went they like D and B and put it to bounce now. Yeah. 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 So it's it's like. Like you say, it worked. If you did that, possibly again, knowing another 12 months where DB keeps growing and you put another big line up with DB in there, it, it'd smack it, but you wouldn't know which room would do better. Do you know what I mean? DB, yeah, yeah. DB would probably outfill 
What's what's the, the what's it like? What's the the DMB like in Bolton noise? Ever seen for it? <laughs> it, 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 it oh, did. Shit. So they had headaches yeah. before before headaches like took off massively. Yeah. The Adamant element and it was the only it was it, it's the only time when yeah well truth yeah it's the only time I've ever seen truth yeah. sold out and it right. was through that so there is a, there is a demand there yeah, for yeah it's, like, it's yeah. old name in it you, you yeah. bring that name like if you put edX in there no you'd not get a ticket after 30 seconds mm. yeah but, and that'd that, be up 50 quid plus wouldn't it yeah, <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yeah it, it changes doesn't it all the time yeah yeah um so you did the the uh Fact, was it fact, yeah, factory, factory, yeah. Yeah. So you did that, and what we did? We happy with the numbers you got through there? Oh, no, fucking, no, I no, think no. final numbers. Yeah. Considering we went, to, where did we go? There was Maxim, before that. Maxim's Monroe's run up pure same night as well. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. but before that, like say we were at what were numbers? Uh, we were at Sky Bar, and we did like two really? twenty. Mm. No, not Sky Bar. Sorry, uh, Underground. We did two twenty. So to take this fa- factory was a fucking leap, and I'm shit. You not what were it? Eight nine hundred capacity. Easy, yeah, easy, we did yeah. six two five in February. Yeah. It was like the sixteenth of Feb, and we were like. But I remember, like, we were all still on stage, and you were on that top quite a bit, and we were just like, what the fuck? Like, I can't believe we've done it, this. It was a shock. I but, still watch videos now. <laughs> like, I'm not even lying, I genuinely do. I go on my phone, flip through shit. And then, like, whenever we're doing an event, I, I love production, so, like, I go back and I'm like, oh, what can we add into that? And I, I, I fucking love what we did. We'd, no, we didn't, we didn't do. We did freaking. No, we Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, before that, yeah, yeah, 400. Oh, yeah, because it oh, was... Uh, that Ron Stu Allen's event. Yes, yeah, yeah, just, just, just memorial. So we dropped that uh, two months before Relax, uh, venue in Dunscot, Edgeworth Way. Little bit out, but it was different. I can't even tell her of it, to be honest with you. No, no, it's an actual place. 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 Um, the venue. We hired the venue and put production in yeah. again, put the same production Good in job. that way, put into the factory. No. We put it in there at first, hired it all in again. Did we have on that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Taylor, Taylor, George Taylor, Poe, yeah, Tom Jean, Poe, we did it. Yeah, that was first lift of that. Two hundred and something. Two, two eighty. Not two eighty-five. No, two eighty-five. I think something daft like that. Yeah. We took a gamble with it. It's in the middle of nowhere. Essentially, yeah. The original date got cancelled. Yeah, no, yeah. So George yeah. Taylor said he went. You want to some of these because yeah, because, because of people who's come and it was first memorial, wasn't it? So yeah, well, should, well, to be honest, he, he, he passed he, about two, three weeks before. So what, what it were we had relaxed books and we was like someone dropped some on the night. And obviously, with a growing brand, we were just like. Like, yeah, lads, let's leave it. Like, and in a way, that's where be, being for you, you make you make a group decision. Like, mm. we have polls and like, what's up, like, right, voting, but being realistic, like, we was like, listen, we can't do it on that night. Like, let's pull it. Like, let's pull. It. So we changed it. We put it on this date, end and of, and then obviously the force with him. Stu Allen passed, mm. so it was like obviously yeah, the world was finger, and then his memorial got dropped on our night, and we was like, we've already cancelled it, we've already postponed it, moved it. it was like, what? What, yeah, do, yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. what do we do with two I, weeks? I, I'll be honest, like stuck with like rock and hard place, and yeah, yeah, well, I'll be honest, like, like when we did when we did that, obviously we had the chance to pull it again, but uh, we lose money on production that we put in everything like that. We we took a gamble, fair enough, it it, it paid off a little bit. But the following that we had that night, like I noticed, seventy percent of following I'd never even seen before. Mm, yeah. So from that, like, and then yeah, and then obviously we went onto factory, and that doubled in numbers. It was nice to see because you put an event on, you've got the yeah. biggest guy going who's passed away unfortunately. Mm. Everyone's going to it. I wanted to be there. Do you know what I mean? It was an idol, uh, and then we're pulling like two hundred eighty-five people in the middle of nowhere. It, 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 it was yeah, special. Yeah. It, it's still we're humble as fuck. We really are. Like that's the nicest way to put it. And to see get you getting like three hundred people in the middle of Norway is nice. You yeah. know what I mean? It's nice to see. It's like it's like Cam said. Like Joe Taylor, hats off to him. Joe, you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> he's back to us since day one. Yeah. Like since uh, some of our first events, like he's always been in touch and I was like, I, I love what you're about. You're like you fall lads and just you work hard and you just you want to put on good events. And he's like, like Cam said, he come on to us that night. He's went for do this like in the middle of nowhere, on on this night. He's fucking keep going. He's, he's, he's always like always rising, showing us like whether yeah. he's on the event or not. Yeah, like he's he always backs us, and he's yeah, we'll be. 
I uh, think um, he's a fucking legend. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'll be 100% straight. Like, Go on. <laughs> uh, no, I will. I will. Uh, when I seen the name come around, uh, I've never heard of any of you. Like, don't take that the wrong way. No, no, no. But, but, but the thing in a thought. Cameraball like that. Who, <laughs> sorry, never heard of me. <laughs> but I thought, who the fuck are these? Like, like, like I know it sounds yeah. bad in a negative way, but there's a lot of like fly by night bounce events come on. Um, yeah. when it come along. yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So I was like, who the fuck are these? Like, <laughs> another, another thing I don't know anyone. And then <laughs> Brad, obviously, as, it now. <laughs> as time goes <laughs> along, like you can sort of see, oh, well, actually, they're not just here for one night. They're not here just for because because yeah. they, they haven't got gigs. They can putting gigs on just for themselves they're actually like thinking about what they're doing um and then obviously i've seen this this factory one you put on and then you've moved on doing the element and then now you're doing pure um we'll get onto that in a minute as well and i just thought oh well actually they're giving this a proper go and, and whatnot but as you say because of yeah. the, the the majority in, of people you see you think oh it's just in, in this them, in, in this boat scene though like fair enough we all started in a pub mm. do you know what i mean um, there's people following our steps. We want to be different. We don't want to be the same. We want to. Ryan, Ryan works full time. Cam works full time. Mm. Tucker works full time. I work full time. We've all got our families. Do you know what I mean? This is a hobby for us. It's not. Mm. It's not a money making thing. I, I can assure we don't make a fucking penny from it. Mm. We actually invest our own savings, like we are into the next event. Yeah. Because we want to put good events on for the people because it's something we all love and we're all passionate about mm. so like you say you think oh who the fuck is this i see it every week on social media I'm that's like, it isn't it yeah it's, it's and i'll never name anyone on, on thing but i was, I was looking at some other week <laughs> <laughs> i look yeah, looking at somewhere <laughs> <other> <laughs> <week> <laughs> day, <laughs> and i'm like for fuck's sake like just you're not changing anything about you mm. like be a bit different stand out and try something new mm. and i think that's why we're gaining a following it because we, we're willing to take it. I'm a fucking gambling addict. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but we, 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 we didn't know this is the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're willing to take. We're willing to take a gamble and we're willing to take a risk to be different. Yeah, I get that definitely. Um, yeah, like you say, there's too many brands. There's too many people at it. There's not enough support. I don't think in the boat scene there's enough people supporting each other. Yeah. I, I'll put my opinion, I'll be your, and your devil's advocate on it, right? I'll support anybody who I think are trying to better the scene. Because yeah. I, I, I do this podcast for essentially no money whatsoever. I don't, uh, yeah. what money I get goes back into buying new equipment, etc., etc., etc. Et et so I do it because it's a passion project. I've got my day job and do whatever, yeah. right? But the thing is, when you see people come along and they just want to create drama, they want to fucking, they want to get involved in everyone's shit. Or oh, they want a piece of someone's pipe because oh, they're doing well. It it can be so toxic within the scene yeah. that you don't know who to trust in giving them time. Yeah. When when I first heard of you and, and you, uh, we talked about um, my first contact with with, with you, it was um, about coming on the podcast, and I was like. I don't know these guys. I don't know. <laughs> well, is that why them. you've uh, led it off so long? No, 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 not at all. It's <laughs> more joking. of like um, it was more of like a, see what they're about first yeah. and stuff. Because you see people who are here just for like six months, yeah, and they'll, yeah. they'll have six months of they'll have they'll do all these room twos or they'll do or they'll blag their way onto main stage for like six months and then they're gone yeah. because they've got bored or, or whatever. There's no passion in it. It's yeah. just like a quick. I think that's why it helps like being four of us because mm. without a shadow of a doubt, like w w one of us now solely on our own couldn't come run this. Mm -hmm. Like, no, there's, no, there's no. that much to do, like, so, like we, all, we all have our strengths and weaknesses, like, and that's where we all pick up the shit for each other. Yeah. And it is. Yeah. Not, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying... You mm -hmm. can't run this on your own, Tom. No. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying, like, we're perfect and we get on every day and everything's plain <laughs> safe. Yeah, and don't. <laughs> far from it. And we have our moments, we have our arguments, and there's days you think, for fuck's sake, what are we doing? I think I've left about 10 <laughs> times. <laughs> but at the same time, we all do it because we love it. Mm. And that's that. That's the best thing about us. We, we all love the events, we love what we're doing. And we, we, there ain't nothing else more to it than we're actually passionate about it. Yeah, exactly. But that, that, the only reason I said about the, the other negative yeah. side is, if I want to invest my time into people like like Joe's put up, you said that Joe put his um, his time at you to say oh he's doing really well yeah, and, and so, follow yeah. what he's doing it's because obviously he's seeing what you're about yeah 
um, there's some people that you give your time to and then just throw it back in your face yeah, because because this is why you, you, you back to your point of like everyone should be helping each other and stuff I think there should be yeah, but it doesn't work like that say, say we're all here now and you've got an equal share of something there's always <coughs> someone waiting just to snide you and yeah. it shouldn't be like that it nah, should be nah. fuck me if you want to you just put this is this has been talked about so much and I've been in like group chats and stuff like that where there's promoters and they're all talking within each other and they're saying, what if we did this one big rave?